Ask any service member about the brotherhood formed on the battlefield, and they'll tell you that bond can never be broken. And that's especially true for a group of war vets who have taken that bond from the battlefield to the ball field. They're using the game as a way back to normalcy after suffering, suffering devastating injuries downrange. Here are the stories of the Wounded Warrior Amputee Softball Team. When we step on the field, when we step between the chalk lines, we get, we're going to give it 110%. Uh, we're not going out there to give or receive pity, and we're going we're gonna to give it to anybody. I don't care if they're 90 years old. When we get on the field, we're going out there for the W. So we're going to try to compete at the highest level that we can. They're just amazed at the level of play that we play at. Um, if you couldn't see that we had a handicap, you wouldn't know that we had anything going on. I'll catch the ball and then I'll just tuck it, pull my hand out, grab the ball and throw it. And uh, I just learned how to do that from playing. I just started playing and figured out a way to do it. This is kind of the closest you can get to being a professional athlete. Uh, I have sometimes little kids will come up to me, ask for an autograph. They do it to some of the guys. I got to give some of my, my clothing to them. I gave a, a young, young kid a, a hat once. I think I got to sign it. So it's, we're kind of living the dream right now, and uh, it's, it's a lot of fun, and I plan to just keep with this as long as I can. Hey, go go! Yeah, yeah! So let's go now. Joining the team has just been amazing, it's life changing, being able to get out here and be with guys that can relate to what I go through on a daily basis, because back home I don't have anybody that was, uh, I have some military friends, but none of them were injured. I've never been a part of a team where, where you have two things in common right away. Uh, we're, when, when, right when we come out, we all had a traumatic injury. We all served in the military, so there's automatically that brotherhood that they talk about. His is mine, and what mine is his. These guys inspire me. I am a little older than all of them, but watching them diving into the bases and diving in the outfield, it's crazy. I, I don't do that, you know, but uh, it's fun to watch them. And like yesterday going to the VA, visiting those guys, that means a lot. You know, as much as it means to them, it means to us. It means so much more than just playing a sport. Um, I didn't want to get out of the Marine Corps. I loved the Marine Corps. I would go back to the Marine Corps. Both my legs were messed up and I was basically forced, you know, done deal. Listen, the Brotherhood is nowhere in the civilian world that I've found so far. Being with these guys is what it's all about. The Brotherhood of being in the military, there's nothing like it. You're never going to, even, even my brothers, uh, it's, it's a different relationship. You can't be like any closer than that to people. You know, they tell you about their families and their lives and you get to know them and it's pretty awesome. For me, being with these guys is what it's all about. It, it's seeing what they're going through. You know, they're pushing themselves to strive to get through the same thing that I am. They've had the same shortcomings and hiccups through their recovery that I've had. It's just nice to be around other people who've been through the same thing. You can, hey man, how'd you, what did you do with this? What do you do whenever, you know, you got blisters all over this? Or what, you know, how are you rehabbing that situation? It's always nice to be around somebody that, you know, has been through the same throws as you. If somebody started messing with one of these guys, they have a serious problem because they'd have 12 of us on them very, very quickly. You know, it's 12 bodies with one heartbeat. Good job, man. We have this saying as amputees, as uh, I guess disabled people, if you want to call it that. It's called getting back your new normal. And my normal before I got hurt was playing sports, uh, living a pretty active life. And this team has, has filled that gap. I can officially call my new normal complete uh, because I'm back into sports and I wasn't going to let anything stop me from getting back. But uh, it certainly has filled that, that void. You can do anything you want to if you put your mind to it. And for me personally, uh, God got me through all that. There's a reason he saved our lives. We're here for a reason and I think this is one of the reasons to encourage other people to get out and do stuff. Come on Kyle, come on Kyle! Yeah! Yes sir! Yes sir buddy. I knew we had him in right field for some reason. He can fly man. The kid can fly. Don't be complacent with where you are. You know if things aren't going right don't don't fall into that trap of 
oh, I'm stuck here. You know, reach back inside yourself and push because you were more than that in the first place and there's still more than that inside of you. So don't settle, you know, don't settle for less because you can be great, anybody can. Good job, way to put it out there, baby. So we don't just come out here to put on a show and get sympathy. We're out here to show everybody that even though we may be different and have physical limitations, they're not holding us back and uh, we can hold our own with anybody.